Hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly reading. The theme for the next seven days is to control your urges and to control your temptation. Okay, this can be in the relationship front. This can also be in the financial front. This can also be with food, with whatever you put in your body. Okay, smoking, drinking, uh, partaking in, you know, um, whatever your vices are. So a lot of it is about self-control and a lot of it is about um, not succumbing, not overdoing things, doing things in moderation. But I also see this element about temptation, keeping yourself disciplined, keeping your long-term goals in mind so that you're not squandering your energy with like little short-term things that don't really go anywhere. Does that make sense? So that's what I'm feeling here. You are very, very focused this week, the next seven days at least, to get a lot of things done. You're very focused to be very disciplined, so don't get sidetracked. Um, I see for some of you the need to really, you know, think about your spending habits. I see some of you are just like, I, I really want to save up and I want to save up just because I want to save up, not because you're planning to, you know, uh, save up for like anything big, like buying a car, planning a wedding, buying a house. I feel like you just want to save up because you feel like you're at a point where you're like, let me try this adult thing. Let me try to be an adult and just to save up. And then, you know, as soon as you say that, and you start putting money into your savings account, you're like uh, walking around and you're like, hey, I want those shoes. I want that handbag. Um, or, you know, things that you never would consider like, oh, I want that new car. Or, you know, I, I see like just uh, just because the money is is piling up in your bank, you feel the urge to to spend it. And you you are feeling the urge to spend it on things that you normally would not spend it on. It's just because the money is there. And so you want to be a little bit careful. I see some of you as well weighing out. And I have here the two of coins. This is weighing out, okay? Weighing out the pros and the cons of something. Um, I see some of you starting like a new job, for example, or planning to start a new job. And you're like, I need to look a certain way because the environment requires it. So you could be working in a very... Um, professional environment and you have to you know dress a certain way look a certain way and I feel like you're you're looking at the price tag on some of the suits or some of the dresses or some of the office wear whatever it is and you're like uh, it's so expensive so why don't I get a cheaper version well it's expensive because it's durable and it's gonna last a long time so if you feel like it's a good investment definitely splurge on that item because you need to right like you need it because it's durable so you could be for example buying a $300 suit and it'll last you a lifetime versus buying I don't know how much suits go for for men these days uh, versus buying like a $50 suit and it the wear and tear will start showing within a year so think about these um, long term you know th think about like the practical reasoning behind something seeing the value in something as well we have here the king of pentacles this is the person that has to have the best okay um this is also the person that sees the proper value in something and this is also the person that thinks about things long term so i feel like if you have long-term goals to save up don't get sidetracked if you are if you feel like you're in need of buying something, buy it and make sure, do your research to make sure that you're paying for the proper value. You're paying for something that will be durable, that will last a long time, um, rather than, you know, short-term planning when it comes to your money, okay? So it's really, really important that we kind of um, get our head around how to control the money that we make and how to retain it and how to spend it. Okay. So financial savviness, I feel like is coming through for this next, uh, upcoming week. Um, I feel like there is a love relationship here. I have the judgment card. This is communication connection, and there's a big heart there. You have a person in your midst that feels the same way you feel about them. 
If you like them, they really like you. There's communication, lots of communication. But for whatever reason, some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This is the air sign here. There's a water sign that's communicating with you. Okay, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There has been a lot of arguments and things like that in the past. You guys just don't see eye to eye. And you're fire, they're water. And I feel like it's just, you know, fundamentally elemental. You just don't really see eye to eye on a lot of things. I feel like this person wants the fighting to stop. This is uh, the week where I feel like the fighting will stop. There will be a outpouring of love and emotions coming from this person. Um, I feel like this person wants to build a relationship with you. They want to have children. They want to have a family with you. And this is somebody who's very nurturing, very loving, very compromising. They don't want to fight anymore. And I feel as if they're waiting for you to reach out to them. Okay, sun, moon, or rising. I feel like you don't know what to do with this person. We have here the Eight of Swords, which is being stuck, not making a decision, feeling very bound. The emotional connection, the emotional demands from this person might be a little bit too much. So even though you like them and you know that they really care about you, I just feel like you're not ready for that commitment. If you're not, please be honest. And I feel like they're waiting on you, so communicate with them your intentions so that they don't wait and waste their time, okay? Um, this is a really good week where you're going to have breakthroughs in communication when it comes to the love front. Um, I have here the Page of Cups. Messages, lots of mail, okay, snail mail, uh, text messages, emails. Uh, lots of invitations. And I also feel as well heavy communication between you and another person. And I feel like it's not just, you know, in the, um, um, what is that? It's not just in the, the, the realm of the internet. Okay. It's not just in the realm of, um, it's not just in the electronic realm. It's actually in the physical realm. We have here the Page of Wands, which denotes to me like opportunities to actually go and meet up with another person, have a really good time with them, have a, even like some type of a breakthrough with them. I, I see people like dating and, you know, actually taking the relationship to the next level. I also feel like, you know, having a physical connection with another person, getting intimate with another person. And um, I also feel like opportunities for sort of um, to get to know somebody, okay? Um, I see some of you are like really shying away from heavy emotional connections. And I feel like it's a Sagittarius thing, you know, it's a fight or flight type of a response. You guys tend to get claustrophobic really fast and very easily. And you don't want heavy emotional demands on a uh, from a relationship partner. It can feel really draining and it can scare you. And so I feel like that's what's happening. You might be sexually attracted to somebody, but you might not want a relationship with them. So you might sleep with them. And then the next day you're gone and they're waiting for you. And I feel like they're hurting. So if that sounds familiar, you know, just let them know how you feel. Let them know that, you know, I'm not really looking for a relationship. Just be honest about it because I feel like honesty would go a long way with this person so that they're not wasting their time waiting. And that's not for all of you. There are Sagittarius out there or Sagittarians out there that do want commitments. And for those of you that do, I feel like you want it with another person. I have here an air sign and I have here the ten of coins wanting to build wanting a relationship wanting something um, and I also feel like you might want some, you you might be 
really attracted to the thrill of the chase, wanting somebody who's not available as well. So there's a tendency to forsake somebody who really wants you and chase after somebody who's not available. I know it sounds foolish when you put it into words, right? But I, 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 that's what I'm seeing here. And so you might really need to kind of prioritize and you might really need to hear that message and to look at your situation for what it truly is. You're forsaking somebody who really wants to be with you and you're chasing after somebody or longing for or pining for or, or fantasizing about somebody who's not available. Um, either way, no judgment. It, it might just be a message that you need to hear. So I have an air sign here, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And this is somebody that I feel is very intelligent they might have animals, they might have children, they, they might have pets, dogs, cats, you know, um, lizards, whatever it is. And I feel like, let me see. I see them as a temptation. I see you really happy when you're around them. Very, very happy when you're around them. I see them kind of igniting this childlike energy within you. You guys are very childlike, not childish, childlike. You like fun and excitement. You don't want heavy emotional energies. And so this person is fun, exciting, but I feel like they kind of blow hot and cold. They can be very harsh with their words. They might not be entirely honest. And they are also looking for a good time. If that's something that you want and they're single and you're single, definitely go for it. Uh, in terms of building a long-term future, it's going to take a really long time because I feel like you both are afraid of commitment. You both are afraid of feeling things very deeply and you both are... Honestly, you both are working on yourselves, building up wealth, working on your professional development. And you both are so independent that you come first before the relationship. Does that make sense? So you might say that, oh, I'm really tempted by this person. I really want them. I want to build a future with them. But I feel like when it comes down to what exactly does building a future mean, I feel like you both are not really ready for that. And so if you want to have fun, that's fine. I just feel like it's going to take a lot of concerted effort from both parties to forgive me for saying, but to be less selfish and to see each other as a relationship partner that you can build with, okay? So I do see this hesitation from both sides about not wanting a heavy emotional connection, just wanting the fun and the excitement and the flirtation and even just the, the fling, but um, building a relationship, I feel like it's a little bit harder because you both are very focused on yourself, on building your foundation, on your career, on your wealth. And it's sort of like, if you're both in this city, right, then everything can work. But as soon as work takes you elsewhere, you're going to move where the work is. So that for you is, it goes without saying. So even though you want this relationship, the things that you're willing to do to develop other areas of your life trumps the relationship. And so I don't feel like, you know, you, you feel like you might be ready for the relationship, but in terms of putting in the necessary work to build that relationship, given all the opportunities that are around you for career advancement and growth, you're not ready. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm not seeing financial worries, but I do feel you need to be careful about emotional spending. You know, having a bad day at work and then going out splurging. Um, I see as well over overindulging <laughs> and uh, you know in in um, too much sugar is what I'm seeing so foods with a lot of sugar uh, drinks with a lot of sugar um, cakes and pastries and you know um, like getting that 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 sugar high mainly because you're stressed out so binging on unhealthy things and a little bit of uh, weight gain okay he's he's very round so just be careful about that. Make sure you get, you know, your physical activity in. Make sure you get your steps in every day. 
I'm also feeling as well for the next two months, there will be so many opportunities for travel. Some of you are traveling for work. I see speaking engagement. I see you on stage sharing your ideas. I see some of you as well thinking about traveling to see family members and you're kind of dreading it. <laughs> um, yeah, I see you kind of dreading it. But you feel like, oh, it's something that I have to do. Um, I see like a, a family. Well, I see like there are a lot of little ones in your family. So like maybe new family members, like um, new babies could be, you know, nieces and nephew, grandchildren being added into the family. And so you really want to see them. You really want to see the, the babies. You want to see the kids. But you might not want to deal with the adult relatives where, you know, there has been too much said or too much bad blood. But either way, I feel like you're going to suck it up and you're going to, going to travel and you're going to, you know, see family members. Um, I see there is a gathering, an invitation for a gathering in a very exotic location, possibly needing to rent a hotel. I see like a Airbnb, a big um house or like a really extravagant house where people pull their resources together in order to rent it for the weekend or for the week or for the month and there's something happening there so like a big gala a big event and you're sharing space with a group of people you're not too thrilled about doing that because you know Sagittarius you love to have your space but I feel like it's going to be a really good gathering. So if you are free, if you are thinking about it, you definitely should go. I see you kind of oscillating one foot out the door. I don't know if I want to be around that many people. Um, I don't know if that's something I want to do, but I, I feel like it would be a really fruitful experience for you. And it can... Um, it will be really good. Um, I'm getting this image of somebody performing on a play, dressing up, and it's not even Halloween. So this is like uh, somebody who's in theater, who's doing a lot of theater. And I feel like you have to dress up and it takes a really long time for you to, you know, get your makeup done, get your, your, your costume done or getting your outfit um, made. And I feel like you you feel like a lot of time is wasted and you're like, I'm not getting paid while I'm sitting here waiting for them to do hair and makeup and to dress me up. And I'm sensing as well, you know, have if you have like uh, smartphones, definitely listen to music, read the news, do some meditation to kill that time. Listening to some guided meditation that you can find on YouTube, it's going to be really help, uh, helpful for you to help you ground yourself and to help you also pass the time in a very productive manner. Okay, so I'm seeing like a lot of success coming through here for those who are performers, especially for those who are actors um, or who are performing on stage. You're getting a really, really big boost when it comes to your income. You're getting a lot of recognition as well. I see uh, some people being um, contacted to sponsor products so it's like they're using your face they're using your name in order to sell their products and you're getting like um commission fees or, or royalty fees associated with that okay so lots of opportunities for income generating uh activities uh possibly even like part-time jobs where you can be a spokesperson as well so i see a lot of that coming in and it's going to be a very very fruitful week for you uh grab new opportunities sagittarius and um, once again, you know, uh, control over temptation, okay? Control over temptation in every single way. Addictions, um, addictions to sweets, addictions to people, um, being tempted by people who are not looking for a relationship, but you're really attracted to, to them. So see it for what it is. And then um, don't splurge too much buying things, okay? I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. I'll be back next Wednesday, okay? Take care of yourself and have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye-bye.